And welcome back to here in Manifesting Your Dreams with Pablo Miguel and I'm here with the most gracious host you can imagine, the most gracious guest, uh, Tetia Toribova. And within this program, if you just joining us right now, we are sharing ideas, principles based on Think and Grow Rich. You may have heard about the book, you may have read the book by Napoleon Hill, and we're talking about Tetia with giving great advice on keeping a journal, so see I bought my talk, I do have a journal. And I carry it with me everywhere that I go, and I have a dream board in it because you never know when a good idea is going to hit you. Yes. Right? It's like sometimes you're in the shower and you get a good idea. That's right? what I would say. <laughs> my best idea is in the shower, and I bought on Amazon the, the notes for shower. Wow. You should see my shower. Oh it's my God. It's everywhere. I have notes in my shower. Have you been picking no, it up? Uh, no, no, I'm sure I did it before. Oh my God. I yeah, she, she did it before me, that's right, that's correct. But anyway, isn't that amazing? Yeah. Sometimes you're driving, you have an idea. Sometimes, you know, when I go jogging, mm -hmm. when I go to nature, I know I know you go to Red Rock and places like that. So what I do is, if I don't carry that one, have it in my car, I carry a little notebook, uh -huh. right? And then I capture ideas because sometimes, have it, have it ever happened, you had an amazing dream, so vivid, so clear, and then you wake up in the morning, oh my God, I'm gonna get that done. And five hours later, five minutes later, or five minutes later, you go like, oh my God, this was such a brilliant idea. Why didn't I write it down? So we recommend you get a notepad right next to your bed mm -hmm. with pen. Or in some cases, you can actually have a record. Now I remember, I was, I'm a little bit, I've been around a, a little bit more than two decades, so I used to have a recorder when we didn't have a smartphone, right? So that way you could capture your ideas and things like that. But we are here sharing some ideas. Petia is uh, amazing what she's been able to do with her life, how she was able to transform her life or overcoming some challenges in her issues. We were talking a little earlier, most people's personalities, she was sharing according to studies, are forged by the time kids are seven years old, okay? Uh, we had a guest a few weeks ago when he was sharing how unbelievable his wife discover, okay, they've been married for 20 something years and she discovered something that happened when she was a little girl that actually determined how she was interacting with other people. And by identifying that and releasing that, letting go, that it was not her fault. Because sometimes something happened, I mean, you, you thought it was your fault, that like your parents got divorced, or they were fighting or something like that. And more than likely, you have nothing to do, you just happen to be there, right? So we're going to share with you how you can manifest your dream. So by now, you should have a clear idea. Maybe you, let's say you want to start a part-time business or something like that. You want to start your own coaching or you have a gift inside of you that the world is waiting for. The world needs it, right? So how are you going to get that happen? So you need to have a clear idea. We're talking about desire is one of the things that Napoleon Hill discovered the people that make big things happen, it was very important mm -hmm. for them. They will say, why? The why was so strong. It's like when people ask me, when, when I mentioned that I released 50 pounds, guess what is the question that everybody asks? Right? And I say, oh, I, I released 50 pounds, I used yeah. to call they, they say, how did you do it, right? And I say, you're asking me the wrong question, because the how is easy, yeah. right? The real question is, why? Did you do it? Because the hell is very easy. You, you want to weigh less than you do right now? You need to eat less and move a little bit more. Well, it's very simple, the formula, right? So whatever diet you use is really not that complicated. But that formula always existed, right? Why wasn't I successful a year ago or two years ago? Because there was something that was important to me. A moment that I said, this is it. I'm going to make it happen. Nothing is going to stop me. There was a why. So if you want to create a new business, if you want to get out of a relationship or start a new relationship or you know move somewhere else, change your circle, there has to be a why that is strong enough so when you encounter challenges, opposition, criticism, circumstances, because guess what? I don't care how positive you are, those things are will show up in you. But it's called resistance, right? If you don't have a why strong enough, then you don't have the emotional energy to carry through, mm -hmm. right? So what can you share with us, uh, with our viewers, about maybe some of the clients that you have, if they want to start something on their own, their own business, 
What advice would you give them, Apetia? Well, so there are a few things. It's no matter what business you are in, you need to know who do you want to be working with. So that goes back to the ideal client because it's so funny. If you are so entrepreneur, you know, and you have a mission in your heart that you want to make this world a better place, you want to help everybody. And the thing is, when you start helping everybody, you help no one. That's right. Because there is no way that you can give the same message to a woman who is uh, free and in her 20s that you can give to men who is 50, who has already a couple kids, who is responsible for the whole family. It's That's not right. possible. So what I start with my clients with, who is your ideal client? Who makes you feel alive? Who do you really love to work with? And that's how I manifested my ideal clients. Now I selectively work only with people that I truly love to work with. I'm looking forward to it. When I started my own coaching business, I would take anyone because I'm like, I want to change this world. I want to make it better. I want to help everybody. You know me, I'll coach you. I'll do it. And then I was burned out because some people, they're not ready. They're not willing. And they're in their own things. And they don't want to move forward. They don't want to be helped. So I started to create this idea of an altar. Yeah, this yeah. woman. And I brought her to life. You need to go into the detail. Who is your ideal client? What is her or his name? Where do they live? Are they married? Do they have a kid? How does their life look like? What are the places they are hanging out at? What are they wearing? I even created a Pinterest board with her. How she would look like, her two kids, her golden retriever, her husband doctor. So all these details. And you might think that you don't have time for it or you don't have such a big visual like uh, power. But uh -huh. if you don't know who you want to be with, and like I say, it doesn't matter if it's a business, an ideal uh, client, or if it's your ideal partner, or your job, you bring it to life, you visualize it, you feel it, and then you will start noticing it. There is no secret, there is no magic. It's like when you decide, like, oh my gosh, I want a new RQ5, and it will be white color, and you start to see it everywhere, and you're like, why everybody now has this car? No, this car was here always before. However, you were not noticing it. So by knowing what you really want, by really putting it in the words, writing it down, visualizing it, talking about it, you will start seeing those things. And that's how I manifested my ideal client. I brought her to life, her name, her age, what is she wearing, everything. In the next week, I was taking my other client, we were going to the Whole Foods to grab a couple things, and as I was looking at the fruit, there was a lady, and I just saw her from the back, and she was wearing like a beautiful white blouse, and it was uh, with like flowers, red flowers on it, and in my head, it popped right, I was like, oh, that's very similar to what I put in the table <laughs> wow. on the vision board, like almost identical, wow. so I came to her, I was like, I love your talk, it's so pretty. And we start to talk, I was like, where is your accent from? Because you know, people who have accent, we just notice the accent even more. She was like, oh, I'm in London, I'm here on the conference, we start to talk. She was like, do you have a time to go for lunch? I'm like, yeah, sure, let's go a couple days. And I was like busy as heck because I was just doing, working on my master business degree. But something told me, yeah, I like this woman, I love her energy, I wanna know more about her. So in a couple of days, we went for lunch, and she started to tell me about her family, about her business, how she doesn't feel confident going online, talking about her mission. So I started coaching her. I just told her what I think that would support her mission. She was like, okay, how can I pay you? I'm like, for what? <laughs> she was like, I want you to be my coach. I'm like, really? So I'm like, okay, let me just you know, get back to you when I get home. In that time, I was not coaching people online, only in person. Oh, she was in London. Oh, wow. So, but I, she was everything that I wrote down about my ideal client. No, she doesn't have two small kids, but yes, she has two kids and she's a very supportive husband. So, it's not exactly how you, so, the rule of thumb for me, know what you want and then let go of expectations how it should look like because you don't know you don't know how it can look like. It's even better and bigger than you can imagine. 
because it's out of your radar. If I would be so fixed that my ideal client is 35 living in Santa Monica and she has her own small business with fashion, then I would never talk to this lady. But I knew how I want to feel with my ideal client. And we are still working together. This is so powerful, would you just share? And most people start their own business or they start a business and they think like, I have something that everybody's gonna buy, right? And the moment they say that, I kind of like, you know, chuckle because they don't understand the principle. Like, just like you said, I'm gonna repeat what you just said. If you try to market everybody, you're not gonna get anybody, right? But when you start creating what is called a niche, right? I was talking to a good friend of mine a few years ago, he got into real estate, when everybody was getting into real estate, right? So suddenly, like, everybody was getting a real estate license, and then he said, I'm going to focus on people from California that has good credit, and they like to buy properties to rent them out, but I'm gonna find them properties in Phoenix, Arizona, because the market in California had already gone up, but in Phoenix, it was following like a year or two years later, right? So the people that felt that they missed out the wave in California, they said, he said, you know what, you can get the, you, you miss a wave in California, you can get the wave in Phoenix. And he sold 35 properties, 35 properties part time to clients that actually made a lot of money because he had, just like he said, it's called the avatar, just like the movie, the ideal client that you want. When everybody else was just giving cards to everybody, oh, if you need to buy a house, call me, if you need to buy a house, call me. And the average real estate person sells one or two homes a year. That's the average, right? He sold 35. So what you said is so powerful. And it's so funny, when you're talking, I was thinking about the story of the car, and you brought up the story of the car. So we are on the same, we're exactly on the same wavelength. So what would you like to attract? Who's the ideal client, relationship, who's, maybe you need an investor for your business, so right? your ideal body, how would you want to feel it? And that's something we'll talk in the next segment, the visual meditation. Exactly, so, we, so don't worry, we're gonna go into a break in a second, but then we're gonna talk about different tools that you can have to accelerate your manifestation, and actually meditation is one of them. So you're here in Las Vegas with Pablo Miguel, manifesting your dreams, if you just join us, Go to manifestingyourdreams.net, N-E-T, give us your information and we make sure we'll send you a PDF that you can actually follow along because we want you that our outcome is so you can manifest your dreams.